So here's the resurgent former UFC lightweight champion, former Wheaties box cover boy, Anthony Showtime Pettis. Many of you remember that fateful night when he won the UFC lightweight title with a first round submission of Benson Henderson. And he did it right there in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. The longtime Rufus Sport product, Anthony Showtime Pettis. Joe, back for more tonight. Anthony Pettis may be one of the best Taekwondo strikers converted to mixed martial arts fighters. His highlight reel of kick knockouts is amongst the best in the sport. believe that eventually Ferguson will be the UFC's undisputed champion, but for one reason or another, hasn't been able to cross that off the bucket list yet. Of course, there was the devastating knee injury that prevented him from fighting Khabib Nurmagomedov for the undisputed title, but when Tony Ferguson is healthy and he is mixing all of the martial arts, many people believe you are staring at the most complete 155-pound fighter in the world. This fighter is a world-class Brazilian jiu-jitsu artist. If he can get this fight to the ground, he will have an advantage there over almost everyone in the world. And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. Ferguson is two years the elder. He is one inch taller. He will have a four inch reach advantage. How about some Bruce Buffett? Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Taekwondo fighter, holding a professional record of 21 wins, seven losses. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Presenting the former UFC lightweight champion, Anthony Showtime! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 25 wins, 3 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Orange County, California, Tony El Kukui Ferguson! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. The veteran Herb Dean draws the assignment here. Ready. Ready. We are underway. Just remarkable to see where Ferguson has come since season 13, the ultimate fighter. He oh, lands a elbow. huge elbow to the head. Oh! oh! This could be it! Oh, very nice. It's punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, head kick! Nice leg kick. Looking to land the leg kick now. Beautiful kick there. Oh, he lands a huge kick to the body, Joe. Body kick, look at that. Pettis with another kick to the body. Oh, absolutely, Joe. He has stayed committed to the body kicks, and they have really started to pile up. Under three minutes remain in round one. In on a double leg takedown here. Gets up again here, but hurting. Ooh, nice knee to the body. Just what he needed there. Anthony Pettis with a nasty leg kick. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. These guys are trading strikes here. Big power in those kicks. Oh, very nice. Again, with a solid kick to the body. Timely defense.
defense there. Huge block for him. Trademark inside leg kick there by Pettis. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Caught that one. Oh, he catches the leg here, and now he goes for the takedown. It's there. Half guard. And he winds up on top. Reversal and into full guard. And they both stand up. Oh! Good defense there. Anthony Pettis with some serious body shots. Absolutely, Joe. Debilitating shots to the body. Ferguson gets the takedown late in the round. That's useful. And back up again. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. The kick gets through. Just missed with the huge kick. Round two next. And there is the horn. Big five minutes for him there. Great round from Ferguson. Huge knockdown. It was probably the most important aspect of that round. Ready, fight. Ready. All right, round two. At the end of that round, his opponent was clearly hurt. He's going to look to start this round off fast and try to pick up where he left off. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Kick to the body by Pettis. Caught that one on the forearm. Nice counter jab up top by Ferguson. That one hurt. That bruise on his torso is getting bad. Beautiful straight counter. Ferguson gets touched by that kick to the body. Well, some have gotten through, Joe. This shot is blocked. Inside leg kick is there by Tony Ferguson. Well, he ate a pretty big head kick there, Joe, and he's got to be careful moving forward, moving into striking range, leaving that head wide open. I know his corner looks frustrated. Let's see if this team can make the requisite adjustments. A vicious kick to the body by Pettis. Joe, huge block there. The defense is holding up. Kick to the body. Wow, he is getting off some massive kicks. Well, he has landed some good shots tonight, Joe, but as yet, he has been unable to string together any solid combination. Oh! He's very well. Yeah, he's trying to hang on his back. Tries to get out of full guard and into half, but doesn't make it. Oh, he caught a choke! He's in full guard here, looking for the guillotine choke. What he needs to do is, he needs to wrap his arm around the back of his opponent's head, Slide his forearm underneath the chin. Just and absolutely incredible. Yes. Got caught in the choke and didn't have the time to tap. Well, you've got to admire the toughness, right, to not tap out. Ultimately, he chooses to go to sleep, but offensively, near-perfect execution on that submission. Beautiful transitions, clearly loose with his hips, and everything he did on the ground was near-perfect technique as he ultimately gets the submission win tonight. And so let's look at it again from another angle. He doesn't even get a chance to tap. And one last time, excellent technique on that choke for the submission victory. So a seminal moment for this fighter here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Huge victory in his career, and it'll be very interesting to see how they match make him moving forward. We send it inside Ladies now to Bruce Buffer for the official the decision. At three minutes, 17 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by submission due to a guillotine jump, Tony Well, what else can be said about Tony Ferguson? Congratulations to El Kukui, who gets yet another UFC win here tonight.